guys, it's Loves to Loom here. Today I'm going to be showing you this super cute Primas bracelet created by Ebba Wee Looms on Instagram. This is a variation of her own original Neria bracelet. She does have a Flipagram account, so I'll have that link down below so you can follow her. Um, check out some more of her fabulous designs. And the Neria is on there as well. Um, so this takes about 120 bands roughly. It is the same on both sides. And I think it has a really cool effect. I love it. So I'm so excited to be showing you this today. So let's go ahead and get started. To make this bracelet, you will want a double-ended hook, and you'll only need one C-clip. I'm going to stick with this color pattern, um, using like all the same color where my silver is, the green, the purple. I'm going to do everything the same except different colors. So for my main color where my silver is, I'm going to use turquoise or teal, and we would start with an eight-loop setup. So make your cat band. Pull your first band through the entire cat band and you're going to reclaim the left side of the cat band and get it back on your hook and attach the band you're pulling through. Pull your next one through the first two. Reclaim the outside band. Attach that. We'll do that one more time for this side. So we'll pull it through the first two. Reclaim the outside band and attach the one you're pulling through. We'll slide this down so we can do the same thing on this side. So take this first band off so that you can scoop up the other side of the cat band. And now we will add the two on this side. So we'll pull this through the first two. Reclaim the outside band, attach the one you're pulling through, and do that one last time. Pull it through the first two, pick up the outside band, and attach the one you're pulling through. So now you should have a total of eight loops up here on your hook, and now we can proceed to the next step. So the next color I'm going to grab is going to be where all my green is. I'm going to use caramel. We're going to be pulling this one through the first two. We're going to pick up the outside band and attach that back on. So now we are going to cross this third band here over the first two. Like so. I'm going to go back to my first color. You can switch colors if you want to alternate. I'm going to use my first color. We're going to pull this through the first three. You're going to want to hold this taut so that it doesn't lose its order. So pull it through the first three and then reclaim the second band and then close that off. So it should look like that. We're going to slide it down so we can do the same thing on this side. So grab my caramel. We'll pull it through the first two. We're going to pick up the outside band and attach the one you're pulling through. So now we need to cross this third one over the first two. Hold it in place. I'm going to go back to my first color. We're going to pull it through the first three and we're going to reclaim the second band. Close that off. So if you did it correctly, it should look like this. So now we are going to switch colors again. And this time we're going to be pulling um, two different bands through all the center bands. And that's going to be where my purple is. So I'm going to use white. This first one, we're going to be pulling it through the first eight. And we're going to reclaim everything except the first and sixth. Just to give you a heads up. So again, pull it through the first eight. Skip that first one. Pick up the second, third, fourth, and fifth. Skip that sixth one. Pick up the seventh and eighth. And reattach this white one. We want the white sitting in the center, so we need to rearrange and make sure it's centered like that. My second white one is going to go through the first seven, 
and we are going to reclaim everything except the very two middle bands, which will be considered band three and four. So pull it through the first seven. Pick up that first one, skip the second and third. And pick up the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Now attach that white. I was kind of struggling to pick those up. <laughs> All right, so rearrange again because we want that white one to sit in the very center. So make sure you rearrange all three of them. Okay, sorry, it took me a little while to get that undone. So it should be in the very center. Um, you don't want it crossed underneath the first white one that you had. So make sure it looks like that. So now we are going to take that fourth band in and we're going to cross it over the second and third one. So the two in front of that fourth one is what we're crossing it over. I'm going to hold it there and now we're going to go back to our first color again. Now you want to do this part kind of quick because you don't want to lose its order. So we're going to pull this through the first five. We're going to reclaim the third band and the fifth band, which is the outside one, and reattach the one you're pulling through. We're going to pull one more through on this side. So this time it's going to go through the first three. And then you're going to reclaim only the outside band and reattach that. So it should look something like that on this side. So we need to do all that on this side, so slide it down. It's going to be tight because we've already looped this side, but we need to cross this fourth one over the second and third. So give it a good pull, cross it over those two. Hold it in place. Just like the other side, we're going to pull this through the first five. We're going to reclaim the third band. And you're going to pick up the outside band and attach the one you're pulling through. We need to pull one more through on this side. This time it will go through the first three. Pick up the outside band and attach the one you're pulling through. So this is what it should look like if you've done everything correctly. And now we are at the start of our sequence again. So hopefully that wasn't too bad. It's pretty easy. You just have to do certain steps quickly so you don't lose anything or the order. So now I'm going to go back to adding my caramel. So we'll pull this through the first two. Pick up the outside band and attach that on. I like to do one set at a time so we're not going back and forth. So now we're going to cross this third one over the first two. Go back to your first color. Hold that tight. Pull it through the first three. Reclaim the second band and attach that one you're pulling through. Slide it down so we can repeat on this side. I'm going to grab my caramel, pull it through the first two. Pick up the outside band and attach the one you pulled through. Cross the third band over the first two. Grab your first color and pull it through the first three bands. You're going to reclaim the second band and attach the one you're pulling through. Fix everything and it should look something like this. So now I'm going to go back to my white, which is what I used for my center. The first one we're going to pull through the first eight. We're going to skip the first band. We're going to pick up the second, third, fourth, and fifth. Skip the sixth. Pick up the seventh and eighth. Reattach the white. Rearrange it to the center. Our second one is going to come through the first seven. 
We're going to pick up the first, skip the second, whoops, pick up the first, skip the second and third, and you're going to pick up the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. So everything besides those two center bands should be picked back up. We need to rearrange it again so that it's sitting in the center. Might be a little funky or loose, but that's okay as long as it's untangled. So now we're going to take this fourth band here and cross it over the two in front of it. So grab the fourth band, cross it over the two in front. Hold that in place. Go back to your first color, and this is going to go through the first five. We need to pick up that third band, and also pick up the fifth band. What happened there? So now we would take this fourth band, cross it over the second and third, which are the two right in front of it. This is the part you want to kind of do quickly. We're going to pull this next band through the first five. We're going to reclaim that third band. Make sure it doesn't lose its order. Pick up the outside band and reattach the one you're pulling through. Make sure it stays in that order. Grab your next band. We'll pull this one through the first three. And we will only reclaim the outside band and attach the one you're pulling through. So now we will slide it down to do the other side. So you may want to give this fourth band here a good stretch so that it can fit over the second and third. So make sure you have it crossed like so. Grab your next band and we'll repeat that same step. So we will pull it through the first five. Pick up the third band and also reclaim the outside band and attach the one you're pulling through. Keep it in that order. Pull one more through this side. Pull it through the first three. Pick up the outside band and attach the one you're pulling through and it should look something like this. So we're at the start of our sequence again. So I'll go back to my caramel. We always start the sequence by pulling that band through the first two. Pick up the outside band and attach that band. We're going to cross the third band over the first two. Pull your next band through the first three and reclaim the second band. Attach that, slide it down. Pull your caramel through the first two on this side. Reclaim the outside band and attach that back on. I always say back on, but you know what I mean, attach it on. Um, take the third, cross it over the first two. And again, we're going to pull this next band through the first three. And reclaim the second band. Attach that. And it should look like that. So now we're going to grab our center bands, which I used white for. We'll pull it through the first eight. Oh, I got a little tangled. So pull it through the first eight. Skip the first band. Pick up the second, third, fourth, and fifth. Skip the sixth. Pick up the seventh and eighth. And attach that white. Rearrange it to the center, like so. Grab your second center band, my white. This will go through the first seven. We are going to pick up the first, skip the second and third. Pick up the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh, and attach that white. Rearrange it to the center. Like so. Cross the fourth one 
over the second and third. We're going to pour our band through the first five. Pick up the third band, get that back on your hook, pick up the outside band, and attach the one you pulled through. Pull your next one through the first three, and pick up the outside band, and attach the one you're pulling through. So we will slide it down, and do the same thing. We will cross the fourth band over the first two. Now, excuse me, the fourth band over the second and third, which is the two right in front of it. Pull a band through the first five. Reclaim the third band and the outside band. And attach the one you're pulling through. We have to pull one more through. That will go through the first three. Pick up the outside band and attach that one you pulled through. So once again, you're at the start of your section. And I love how this looks. Sometimes the band here might get a little pulled more to one side. But you can just pull on it to kind of even that out. Isn't it gorgeous? So I do feel like a robot. It's very repetitive, obviously, like all hook designs. So if you are having any trouble, please rewind it and watch the previous instructions. I'm going to do it one more time without giving instructions. Um, and when I get to the point of how you would close it, I will show you that. So I'm going to continue silently. Oh, and I didn't just tell you that on um, the step I just did, I only pulled one band through instead of where we usually pull two through. I only did one, and I'm going to go to the other side um, because that's how I'm going to close it up. So I don't want to pull two through at that point. So I'm going to cross the fourth band over the second and third and only pull one band through instead of two like we've been doing. So at the point where you would want to close it, you would be at this point. 
where we would actually need to add one more on each side to be at the start of our sequence again. But instead, we would just pull one band through at this point, like so. And it would close it off. So yeah, that's it. Hopefully that was enough instructions for you. There you have the gorgeous Primas bracelet created by Ebba Wee Looms on Instagram. Please make sure you tag her and myself loves to loom. If you make this, we'd love to see your rendition. You can check out the original design Neria on her Flippagram account also. That information will be down below. So we do both appreciate you watching. Don't forget to hit that like button down below if you do like this design. And I will see you all real soon at my next video. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.